Okay, a new pack rafting trip, and this time I have again a new raft. Honor Fipio uh, Rebel 2K without any internal storage systems or anything as basic as possible with rigging uh, the lines and attachments 2.7 kilograms and the seat also. This is the first time on water so I expect the packing size to get a bit smaller still. This is how it is. Yeah, the seat attachment is one thing that I was surprised with. So the seat came uh, unattached and it came with two pieces of string or rope and then you have to thread it through yourself from both sides. It's very well attached when it's there but takes a while to put in. And the seat and the backrest are separate chambers and the wall is a bit different from the MRS rafts. So yeah. But it is, there is a wall, like one way. So that's maybe better. This is the position the very, where you can empty it. It empties, this keeps the valve open. The cap rotate this way and it will keep it open for deflation. And then this is the normal mode of operation like that. And yeah, I added my normal crap lines here, except I'm testing the front without knots here. Uh, what I'm afraid of is this, that it gets too loose and tangles when it's uninflated. Well, I'll see how it how it works in the long run. Okay, let's start inflating. So there is the fin and then we have uh, the inflation thing. Uh, I did not test the field, uh, how do you call this, these sacks, pump sacks of the MRS boat. It looks like the same thread, but I have to check this. It is lighter, the sack even. Oh, like it doesn't have a stiffener <laughs> there. It's like semi, semi, semi stiff. All right, let's have a look. So yeah, I added these, my normal attachment strap systems, these lines. And one in the back for swimming to grab it if I have to swim. Inside, yeah, there is the seat. Yep, I still need to inflate this in a moment. There is a loop for carrying, only on one side. These are meant for stashing the, the deck. When it's rolled out of the way, you can roll it on the sides and it's basically open. The zipper goes here, so it's almost fully open. And then you can yeah, roll it down, wrap it there, so it's out of the way. There is a velcro from here onwards, up to this sleeve, I would say. So no separate spray skirt. It's everything is attached, which is good. What I'm a bit worried about is the zipper seems very tight. I mean, the boat, now it's inflated and I tighten it. It is a bit... Yeah, I'll see how this behaves. I am used, this is quite tight at the moment to take some of the tension from the chipper. It might behave differently on water when I'm sitting in there and I'm on the water. So we'll have to see how that works. But yeah, basically the rest is Velcro. It creates a nice tube and in an emergency you can get it open quickly like this. Yeah, it remains to be seen how well it stays up and how dry it is. But yeah, that's the basic setup. All right, now the seat and the backrest is inflated. Yep. Yeah, this seems to be much more robust dwarf than the MRS rafts. It's, it's very similar to what I have on my Anvibia flotation aid, I think. This comes with the skeg attachments, fin attachments, pre-glued here. Ah, there was still some glue, <laughs> but it came off with my finger nail. Hmm. Yeah, it's a bit stuck still. One thing I have noticed, if it gets difficult to put in, put some Vaseline. I used actually lip balm, I didn't have anything else last time. 
onto these parts, then it slides much better, makes it much easier to put in. Our problem was sand gets stuck to the vaseline. Ah, yeah, see in the other end. All right, it seems to be stiff enough to hold it in place without the string, and anyway, I don't see anywhere to attach it, so I'll take the string off. I just added it to that's an thought from the MRS Nomad. There's a small hole for tying it in as one of my fins came off. Ah, now I see there's one more attachment loop at the bottom in the front. I guess for foot rest to push your feet against. I tried this, tested it uh, on the floor of my apartment. And for me, it seems that it is just long enough. If it was any shorter, I think my feet would not really fit in there very well at least and there are no I, I wanted this to be as minimal as possible so it's more like an adventure raft and this is more like for trips where I walk and use the public transport maybe maybe even climb some <laughs> hills or mountains and and then paddle but not meant specifically for anything very demanding white water or long distances and open water so next we will put it on the water for the first time all right, so now is the seat. Yeah, as you can see, it's just I'm 180. At the moment, I weigh a bit over 100 kilograms. Hopefully, soon a bit less. And I fit just in here. No extra room, but also it's all right. And let's see how the zipper works when I am on water. Okay, this needs some sort of zipper pull. It's very tight. I'm actually very worried about the, this zipper. Well, we'll see. Like this. Mm -hmm. If I breathe tension it with the velcro, then it seems to be a bit better. The f first impressions after the first 100 meters, the seat and especially the backrest is the best I have tested, uh, tried so far. I have much more upright position and maybe also <laughs> something to do with the length so my feet are against the bow, but not too cramped actually. With the Emirates Nomad, I've, I could not use my bigger boots, not really. It's, it's slower <laughs> than the Nomad. I guess about the same as the MRS Microraft. I guess. I have to check from the data from longer, well, longer stretches of paddling. I have the fin. That makes a bit of a difference. I can feel it. Tail uh, wanting to stay straight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So far, seems nice. Only thing I am not so happy about is the chipper, but it might be. I'll just see if these materials might stretch a bit with use. We'll see. Also the back side, packing size, I remember distinctly reading from the Anifibio website that it packs down to the size of two liter water bottle. Yeah, they have different liters over there. <laughs> no, I mean, it might also with the usage, it might get smaller. Okay, after a bit of paddling, the backrest seems even better than the first impressions. Uh, even after an hour, I'm still not slumped in here. It even works even if I keep my uh, legs crossed. They just fit in, <laughs> in here. It's a bit tight still. The paddling, it's pretty much same as the Microraft. I, it might be a tiny bit slower, or maybe I'm just out of shape a bit. But I can check that from the GPS data from long-term measurements after a few trips. It's very difficult to say which is faster and slower because the conditions change. There is a tiny bit of flow in the river and it's not windy at the moment. Also energy levels of myself <laughs> uh, affect how, how I perceive the speed and effort, uh, like easiness of paddling. Well anyway, it's notably slower in any case than the MRS Nomad but this was to be expected. Much nicer to carry on land though, so, and much nicer to prepare, much faster. I mean, less <laughs> moving parts, less parts to, to add, and you don't necessarily need the high pressure pump, as you kind of do with the Nomad. 
Well, you could just blow it with your lungs. Mm, maybe. <laughs> but I, I guess it's not that easy to get it very tight. This one is... Well, yeah, a normal backdraft. It's very squeaky, but I think it's just new and shiny. As you can hear. I move, oh, or maybe it's just my shoes from Inno8. The old trail runners that have, have been glued and <laughs> I drilled holes into them so to train. I hope they stay to, to, <laughs> together for one more season. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's nice bolt. Now after, I would say, two hours of paddling, I'm noticing the back rest is excellent, but maybe I should have not filled the seat as, not as full as I filled it. So maybe I could have left it a bit softer. Yeah. Or maybe just sitting for two hours on my ass anyways. <laughs> Starts to get numb. No matter what kind of seat I am using. So, 3 hours and 9.9 .9 kilometers. 3.3 .3 per hour. This includes all small breaks and so pretty average. 3 kilometers per hour is very good estimation for real travel speed. Not maximum speed, but like real speed for long distance travel. <laughs> A mini rapids. <laughs> Got my paddle stuck with the rocks. Right. Realized I still have this fin attached, but the positioning of the fin is a bit different, and this is a lower profile. So I just went down these these mini rapids with the fin attached. I'll have to see if it's still there. But yeah, and there's the next one. Underneath the bridge. But yeah, um, I mean, this is very, even with the fin, very easy to handle in the flowy parts. I made a couple of mistakes in the rabbits, but I think that's because I was, it was not as nimble as expected because of the fin. But it still, still was, <laughs> still with the fin, that's easier to turn compared to the MRS Nomad, which is longer. So yeah, excellent for this kind of adventure the rafting.